Good morning, YouTube. Let's get in and focus here a little bit. So, if any of you guys watched my last video, we got this uh, WML light by Enforce. All right, and it was it's a pretty bright little light. Uh, I just got it yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to play with it a whole lot. But this is my new AR-10 upper, or my new AR uh, pistol. Sorry, guys. Um, this is a PSA 10 and a half inch, and as you can see, it's new. I haven't got any uh, sights for it yet. So that's what we're going to go over today. The mailman just came by and brought this. <sighs> and here we go. The Sig Romeo 5. Now, I don't know really anything about this sight. I read a little bit online, but I don't know a whole lot about it. All right. So here's what it the packaging looks like Sig Romeo 5. Now I do know this thing's supposed to have the MoTeC technology or something like that, where uh, um, if uh, if it's on and you set it down after like two minutes or something like that, it's supposed to turn off. Okay, it comes in this your pretty standard Sig box. Inside the box, it's got a foam pad. Underneath that, you got your instruction manuals, which any man just throws those away. And that, you got the cleaning cloth. And then we get to the main attraction. You got the site that has the co-witness riser on it. And then you get a low mount riser, which this would be really nice on like one of my scout rifles. Um, we're going to play with this on the AR. And if it happens to, uh, if I think it's going to be decent, I might get one of these for my... Uh, Ruger Scout and 450 Bushmaster. All right, so anyway, back to this. It does come with the battery. I think it's a 2032. Yes, it's a CR 2032, which you may not be able to see that. These are pretty common watch batteries. And this is something I didn't realize that it came with, but it actually comes with uh, lens covers, which is pretty neat. All right, because I hope this ain't blurry. Or I hope this isn't too blurry. All right. Go ahead and take the bikini covers off. Oh yeah, that's pretty. All right. Let's go ahead and stick battery in this thing. See what she looks like. All right. Set it down right here in front of y'all real quick. Then we'll get this battery opened up. Oh, man. Like I said, guys, I'm a little under the weather, so I'm sorry if I sound funny. Uh, we had a pretty crappy day at work yesterday. I got into some dust. Now it's got my breathing all messed up. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Well, this is something that's kind of neat. Is I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually a gasket right here where the battery cover is. So that, I guess that's part of the helping it be waterproof. Um We'll look at it here in a second. I, I do think I remember reading that this thing is water resistant or waterproof. Okay. Now, got it in. How do you turn it on? How do we turn it on? Maybe hold the button down. Okay. Wow. Okay. So to turn it on, I... Uh, I just held down on the top, you have a plus and a minus button. Here's plus and over here's the minus for your brightness setting. I just held it down. And you see the light come on. Now let's go ahead and try this Motac thing. I think it's supposed to be after two minutes of letting it set. Um, the light should turn off, so we're just going to sit here. It's going to be the longest, most boring two minutes uh, that you're going to watch on this entire video. Uh, but like I said, guys, hopefully uh, 
hopefully this Enforce light does really well. Um, I think it's going to do exactly what I want it to do for a home defense gun. That's what this uh, entire little setup is more or less for is this is a home defense style weapon, I guess. Um, I did take this Enforce out last night and ran it around the yard a little bit. I could see, I tried to get it on camera to show you guys, but I, the camera doesn't do it any justice. Uh, I can probably see, uh, you know, I can clear it, see clearly around 200 yards with it. Now, uh, you can see out further than that with it, but I like the clarity starts to bleed off a little bit. Um, after I get done with this review on the um, Sig Romeo 5, we'll do a review on the pistol itself, but I guess while we're sitting here waiting, we can go over some of this stuff with the Romeo 5. Let's see here. Um, get the instructions. <sighs> okay, turn on and off. Uh, control. Same tool device and you can increase, yeah. They, it does feature the MoTeC technology. It will automatically turn off after 120 seconds of non-use. As soon as you, it senses a, a slight motion, the system will turn back on. Uh, it's got 10 different illuminating settings, eight daytime, two of those which are night vision, which most people are not going to use that. Um, I do have a night vision set up, but it's a scope, not a monocular. Monocular. So, uh, let's see. The mounting system. Did it come with tools? Did it come with... Well, it, yes, it did come with tools. Okay, we'll go over that here. Oh! Did it turn off? It did turn off, and it came right back on. Okay. I, I think that's what that was. Hopefully, y'all saw that. Okay, so anyway, I'm hoping that's what that was. Okay, so we do know that works. All right, in the box, it does come with a tool, which is pretty neat. Comes with this little key, skeleton key looking tool. All right, uh, elongated end fits uh, the screw on the bottom of the mount. The top end uh, actually fits, I think, think it will fit. We'll check here. Yes, it will fit in top to do your adjustments, but if you don't want to carry that around, the top of the cap, where's my lens at? See that little indent on top of the cap? The indent on top of that cap actually fits in the turret. My blind eyes can see it. Yep, fits in top, and then you can make your adjustments that way. That's something that's actually really cool from SIG. A lot, I wish that a lot more people um, started to do that. Um, not that carrying change around in your pocket is really that big of a deal, but I just find that to be a neat setup. So, let's go ahead and install this on the pistol itself and see what we got. So, I think I'm going to run this slightly forward. I think I'm going to run it up about there. It helps if I go on the right side. Is on there it's not snugged up or anything yet but I'm not worried about that right at the moment and that's what it looks like guys it's kind of it's actually at a perfect height for me and the bottom actually has it has it cut out in the bottom if you're running I guess that would be more for like my scout rifle that's got peep sights on it, which would be kind of neat. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and take it off, go through the brightness settings. I probably should have did that before I threw it on the gun. What do you, 
What do you think? Uh, let's go ahead and take her back off, go through the brightness settings, and then I think that's going to be it. That way I'm not making this uh, video too long and boring for you guys. Uh, and I will do a full range review on this uh, right now. It's pretty damn cold, and I go into work tonight. Um, it's supposed to snow tonight. I think it's supposed to get down like negative four or negative six tonight or something like crazy like that. All right, so let's go ahead and go through the brightness settings. All right, so there's, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, can you even still see it? Eight, there's the lowest daytime setting. And then you have two night settings. I should go get my uh, my uh, night vision scope, but it wouldn't do us any good during the day anyhow. Um, but, oh, there we are. I think that I'm going to keep it on somewhere around there. But guys, I think I'm going to like it. I'll keep you updated. Uh, we will do a uh, range uh, day with this gun, with this sight, and with the Enforce light. Um, like always, guys, y'all are awesome. Please like and subscribe to the channel. This is our new channel. Uh, so, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I think it's going to work really good. I'll keep you updated. And uh, for what these things are going for right now, I don't see any reason not to buy them. I, I picked this up for a hundred bucks. Uh, the only thing I can tell you is if you go to buy these, please be careful. Please, please, please be careful. I've seen them on eBay. There's fakes out there. If you spend less than $129 to $100 for these things, good chance it's fake. So that's just a little tip on the SIGs and uh, Leopold's, Eotex, stuff like that. Like, like always, guys, you're awesome. Like and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you next time.